uh, so, sorry, much money on it. Uh, way back in the day, so they just like took five percent. And uh, what hypothesis was? It was supposed to deter uh, a company like Google from trying to buy Facebook. So just put in some money in, so Google will not want to buy something that's partly owned by Microsoft. And, and Microsoft has loads of investments in all kinds of smaller uh, companies. Um, and like, I, well, I, I, the biggest hang-up I have with Facebook, and sort of putting Microsoft aside now and their Skype, I think we we all expected something like uh, some like this with their acquisition of Skype recently. That we're going to see integration into many of Microsoft's interests. Um, but putting putting that aside for a second, the, the main problem I've got with Facebook is that it, it's effectively segregated its uh, its own community from the rest of the web. I don't use Facebook. I refuse to use it. I think it's rather ra- rather sad and uh, pitiful that uh, people spend hours and hours of their time um, in that sort of cl- closed posturing environment where posting pictures of your Friday night out is uh, seen as a, a valid uh, way to spend your evening. Um, so th- that's my particular hang-up with with Facebook. I will probably feel the same way about Google Plus when it's released, but I can't make a comment because I haven't checked the service yet. Have you heard anything about uh, Diaspora? That's what I was going to say. I haven't They're, heard about no. it in months now. It's um the site's still up and running because I applied for a beta invitation uh, quite a long time ago now, and uh, hadn't heard anything. And there's been very little news on it. When I went back to the site, I think that was about a couple of weeks back, it was still in operation. But again, it's uh, it has been very quiet. And that I was particularly excited about. But unless we hear uh, more news about it, we can assume that uh, the the project's still going on. Um, if anybody does know anything. Um, Please email us or contact us because I really don't know. Yeah, uh, well, it wasn't a final. I believe the uh, there was a lot of hype when first they had some people join the <coughs> join the community and some people shared links in the <coughs> with the uh, wrapping of the, the the shell of the of the site. Um, what happened was though uh, there was a bit of backlash against. Bugs in the code, like when I actually share everything, they use Ruby and Rails to do that, mm. and they're very kind of Mac oriented developers. Um, so, so, one of the things they did was uh, got some bit criticism at first, things to do with license, not just technical things. And uh, and I think they still work. I, th- I think it's not really the state where they can say, okay, we've reached the 1.0 uh, milestone. Uh, so, I, I think they'll get some more press as soon as they have a big. Release and is it open for in, in, Sorry, is, is it invite only or is it? Yeah, open? it's um it's invite only. If it'd been um open, I certainly would have tried it already. Um, but I'm just looking at there was a blog post on the first of June. Why, um, why do people join these things? I'm, I'm just playing dumb now. Why would a person join this? What's the what's the benefit? Well, in 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 regards to diaspora over Facebook, uh, for example, um, the ownership of your your pictures, etc., yeah. is, is completely different. It's you don't lose control of your material when yeah. you uh, submit it, so that that's a good thing. So somebody who has Facebook who doesn't particularly like that aspect of Facebook's policy, um, Diaspora is well suited to. As to why going to a community, it's a very good question. Um, why would so somebody? There is a uh, there is a difference between a closed community or each. But I suppose actually it's interesting. You mentioned Google. Google's got many of the pieces in place already because it's got the. Uh, let me just think what it's called. Uh, they bought the uh, oh gosh, what's it called? The the photo editor, and Picasa is yeah. the uh, so that works the desktop. You can upload pictures from your desktop to your uh, gallery online. So they already have galleries implemented very nicely and smoothly. Mm-hmm. And it has a nice accelerators to kind of move between uh, between pictures. I think it's pre pre processes the next picture and the previous picture to make it faster, so you can kind of browse very fast. Uh, so so they have that. Because uh, why do people? Okay, so people swap pictures, leave comments. That I, I I do it on my site with gallery. Gallery is a PHP based thing, and people can just leave comments. I control the photos. I can delete them. I can move them around, and I can pe- give people addresses to them. Okay, this this is how I think social networking in general works, and this this is just my view. It's uh, nobody else's. So I don't. You Roy, you may agree, you may not. Um, but I think the draw of social networking, when you look at Facebook um, and things like that, is it offers people a a forum um, to be with other people. And the main draw of Facebook would be to 
give you status within that particular community yeah. so people can upload their pictures they can get points for involving themselves in these shared games uh, within the facebook uh, system and it, it gives you a position a, a community standing as it were and of course the more friends you have the better person you are um, apparently um, and this is a draw of all the social the social networking sites i mean i must admit for a for example, Twitter uh, does it to an extent with your followers. Um, yeah. I use Twitter as a medium to to show my links for that on my yeah. site, and I don't think I'd bother with Twitter if I didn't have, yeah, you know, if I only had two or three followers. So it, it, it's certainly got a draw in that respect. And I, th- I think this plays on a draw, and it's it's what I call the the role playing draw. Um, it's, yeah, I was <laughs> yeah, it's, it's where you uh, save up experience, you get up your levels, you get better spells. It makes you a better person, apparently. Um, and it, this is the whole thing, and it's a very insidious sort of system in, that draws you in without you realizing it. Yeah, and, and then uh, it provides a form of es- escapism, uh, in some sense, uh, in the same way that they uh, multiplayer games. Uh, I know they can. I, I I haven't played them in body like since I was a teenager, but. Uh, they provide a parallel universe to escape to, so when you have a tough day, you can still go online and you still get your swords and your stuff. But then if you think about it, Roy, you know, we, we see examples of this even before the internet and Facebook and all this ever existed. I mean, if you look at some um, sort of community forums or community, um, or, or group projects, as it were, look at the Boy Scouts, look at the Freemasons, all these sort of social groups, in the same way as Facebook, offer you a, a ranking and a status that you can achieve, which makes you Better than the person, yeah, but than the next person, um, and it's sort of an ex- a digital extension of what we've been probably doing for years without realising it. Yeah, in the Cub Scouts, you get to I think it was sixth leader or something like that. You, you go to do a martial art, you get your belt and you get your, your your yellow belt and your second dan if you're doing judo and all this type of thing. And it's 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 a digital extension of that sort of ecosystem um, where people can you know invest time and get a reward. Um, Reminds me of Scientology actually. <laughs> <The Washington's. laughs> we better be careful because I did see that yeah. documentary on Scientology. And we'll have the people uh, watching us and <laughs> yeah, rather disturbing. Um, but moving on from Scientology, so back to Facebook. Have you ever cool. met a person who's, uh, who's in it? I don't think so. I mean, I may chat there, to people. There is, there is one in here in Deansgate, in Manchester. There is, I was pretty surprised to even see one. I was like, oh, what's this doing here? <laughs> well, for a long time. I mean, for a long time, I didn't even know what it was. I assumed it was some some group that believed in space aliens. That's what I presumed it was. Um, I never really looked into it. I don't spend a lot of time because I find that when you go down the route of making an opinion on something like Scientology or anything like that, you end up getting spending hours and hours fighting back when somebody's taken out of context what you've said. So I, I tended to sort of try and avoid the whole subject because there has been a lot of news about it, uh, certainly. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't until I watched the Louis, Louis Theroux documentary on it, I think it was, um, when I finally discovered what actually Scientology was. And, uh, yes, it was, uh, yes, well, each to their own. It's a, it's a wonderful, diverse world. I, I, think, I think it's becoming, you know, especially on the internet, it's one of those, uh, kind of whipping boys, uh, and people like to joke about it. But it's also, to tell you the truth, I, I think it's a very convenient thing to pick up when you want to pick up on certain, uh, Customs like religions without offending too many people because it's a very small one. Mm. I, I, I first, but but then again, we start to talk about different uh, uh, areas of uh, like it, it's also very easy to pick up in certain companies because they're quite small. And uh, when I when I speak critically about Apple, I kind of think hmm, so quite a few people that use these things and will be offended. Like mm. they they would feel like I'm saying something about their intelligence because they went out and bought these yeah. things. But we do have to like say some certain things without without insulting too much. Well, I would hope that people. I mean, certainly religion and things is a very different subject. But certainly in terms of technology, you would it's hope that people. Apple, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's, uh, there was the, you know the headlines about the. You've probably read about this that the reaction to Apple is similar to religious thing. And if I say something about Mr. Jobs, and sometimes I speak to people. About and I mentioned Mr. Jobs. And see, oh, it's, it's like I mentioned, like a special, famous person. And yeah. I need to tell myself, be careful. Don't say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's uh, yes, it's, and I think full credit to Apple for developing this machine of theirs uh, to market things in such a way. Is, uh, hats off to Apple, I think, in a very, um, very suspicious way. Uh, it's uh, yeah, they've done very well with that. Um, Sticking on the subject, well, trying to stay on the subject of open source. Now, Roy, you sent uh, a very good link to Cola, 
in I think it was in the last few hours, which I uh, I clicked on and had a little look about that. And it's the Usebox Open Source Hardware Games Console. Um, I don't know if you wanted to have a little chat about uh, any of that. I don't know if you've uh, looked into it. The first one, I know quite a few of them which try to build upon a stack of open source, and uh, the the issue the issue they have, I think, is capital because. Uh, 